It's like a race against time. The life of a winemaker sounds kind of romantic. Cavorting in nature, transforming grape into prized wines. And yet, a reality check. We have fire, we have smoke. Uh, this year we have drought. You can see our pond right there. Napa winemaker Ray Hannigan isn't a Debbie Downer. It's just the reality of making wine in parts of Napa these days. Feels a little bit like we live on a knife edge. Uh, it is a bit of a climate disaster area. But this year's Zinfandel harvest is on the vine, on its way to the barrel. Despite the challenges, uh, the fruit in this spot looks fantastic. That may be due to some creative measures employed earlier this summer when the grapes at Hannigan's Green and Red Winery were exposed to an unusual run of 100 plus degree weather. Intense sun and you're just trying to protect them as much as possible. Just like people, grapes get sunburned. So the winemakers turn to a practice common in the people world, rare in a vineyard they used sunscreen. You can see some sunscreen on the grapes. It's a natural product, it's just like sunscreen on a human. Green and red winemaker Aaron Whitlatch says the natural clay product is sprayed on the leaves, which protects the fruit. By spraying this white clay uh, on the leaves in the fruit zone, you, you maintain uh, the shade. It's a creative measure in an unsure time. Over on the right here is where the Hennessy fire came down. Last year, fire marched to the edge of the vineyard Though it didn't burn the vines, the smoke forced Hannigan to throw out his entire red grape harvest. Really beautiful fruit. It was heartbreaking. Then the insurance company canceled all the winery's fire insurance due to increased fire risk. So all these buildings, the wineries, everything you look around it, we're just, we're just flying blind right now. Scientists describe these struggles as symptoms of the changing climate.